Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're going to do a, a quick, short version of Brow Love, okay? Just kind of see where you're at. Um, I am reminding people I just did that big Zodiac read the other day, Sunday, okay? So that shares a lot of information. I know that goes all the way until November, but that is your situation, okay? So it's just going to be a quick little raw love for you guys. Kind of see where you're at. So that with my lions, my Leos, okay, Leo Aries, uh, Sag. All right, so we got the chariot. You're trying to figure out what direction to go in. Do I leave something behind or do I move forward? All right, it looks like with the ace of cups right here, you, you found love. You found something that is, you know, you're loving, all right? So eight of cups, this is, to me, you're walking towards happiness. So, you know, the chariot is definitely choosing a way. Do I leave the past behind and move forward? Okay, or you're already with somebody, but you want you're on two different pages, but there's love. Okay, but with the state of chalices, did you just walk towards love and leave something behind, or you know, there's love, you know, but are you really truly that happy? Do you need to move away from this? So, this is a this is a, a quite the decision, or this is somebody you walked away from before. This was somebody you weren't on the same page with this person before, and now you're coming together. But I don't know. This to me, this talks about good times, but I don't. I feel like you're not necessarily that happy anymore. I, I'm just feeling it that way. I'm sorry. Um, oh, let me clarify the Ace of Cups for you real quick, because I don't feel like. Yeah, see, three of pence, five of wands. I, I don't know what's going on here. I think this is saying walk away from something. Leo, Leo, Leo. Tell me about this Ace of Chalices. Because I think at one point there was love. All right, yeah, see, the Queen of King of Pence and then the High Priestess. So, and the King of Pence is reversed, even though I'm not, like, really reading them reversed. But I will tell you, this is somebody that's not putting effort into it anymore. And somebody's not using their intuition here, okay? Or there's just secrets and they haven't been exposed yet. Okay? Um, so, to me, what this is saying, you know, there's still feelings there, but you're not truly happy. You're at your crossroads. Because this chariot right here is literally being at your crossroads. It's like you just made love, too, and you're, still had, you're two, still in two different directions, not really knowing where to go. All right, and this is the Seven of Swords. You know, this is about having a conversation. And, I mean, it's the Seven of Wands. And, and letting your guard down um, and, and speaking the truth and getting to the bottom of things, okay? So, I kind of feel like there's two different stories here. Because, what about the Seven of Wands? This is somebody that could be coming towards you that you've been waiting on, okay, that hasn't been putting effort into something, and they need it, yeah, see, they don't have the strength, or somebody doesn't have the strength to let go of somebody, okay, to me, this is somebody who doesn't have the strength to let go of someone, because somebody's unhappy with the nine of chalices reverse right here, somebody's unhappy right now, all right, um, to me, oh, heck yeah, look at that. Ugh, ugly. Um, there, there's something. To me, this is saying it, it's time to, to cut the chains and break away. And, yeah, see, like, somebody's not processing this right now. Somebody is holding on because of comfort. And don't do that, okay? I understand that there's love, but... How many times are you going to try to work this out? Okay, this is one of those scenarios. Tell me about uh, the chariot. Leo, Leo, tell me about the chariot. All right, the three of cups. It looks like there's a third party here. This is not happy, happy. Okay, tell me about this three. This is this is other people. Okay, yeah, see. Ace of cups reversed. It, it's just someone's not loving as much as the other person is anymore. Okay? 
and it's time for somebody to walk away. There's, I mean, this is an obvious situation where somebody's not putting the effort into something anymore, but yet you still I, are holding on, okay? Um, eight of Wands, something about the Eight of Wands. I, I don't know what it is, you're, or you're about to get a message, okay, because I was going to do um, Page of Cups. Somebody's listening to somebody else right now, okay? If you're waiting on a message from somebody, and it, because I was going to clarify the seven of wands. So I don't know if somebody already walked away from you and you're waiting for this person to hit you back up, but I, I don't think this person's going to hit you back up, okay? Um, this person is listening to people with the seven of wands. This person's listening to people they should not even be listening to. Tell me about strength. So this is you guys not having enough strength to have a conversation, speak up, tell the truth, okay? Clear the air. Somebody's giving to somebody else with a six of pens. Something's not even right now, okay? Um, someone's not happy with the situation. Um, it looks like this person will come back around with that message you're waiting on, but I, I don't think it's going to be a good outcome. I think it's going to be this message you're not going to be happy about. Tell me about the high priestess real quick. Um, I'm sorry that this energy went back and forth, guys. It's just what you're dealing with right now. Yeah, see, they're not going to want a new start. It's not going to be what you want to hear. They're not going to offer time. They're not going to give that to you. Tell me about the eight of wands. It's just you're expecting the, yeah, see, no, the three of half. Um, three of swords. It's you need to heal from this, okay? And and you're in the process of this sorrow. Tell me about the three of swords. Um it but it's like this is fear. This three of swords is, is like fear to me. It, it's it's yeah, see the ten, you're not processing this. This is somebody that already walked away. So my Leo's walked away from somebody or somebody walked away from them. There just wasn't enough love. This person is more into themselves than they were you. And this person's not putting effort anymore. You're waiting on this message. Do I think you might get the message? I think you might, but it's not going to be what you want, okay? Um, I don't, you know, could it be a quick intimacy thing? Yeah, but this person's still going to walk away and turn their back, okay? Um, I'm sorry. So, let's do Aries. It just doesn't look like a, a good outcome. It just doesn't look like the outcome that you want, okay? It doesn't look like I, th th there's no, to me, that wasn't reconciliation with that three of cups. That was straight up somebody wants to date, somebody wants to party, okay? Somebody doesn't have enough love for themselves or enough love for you. So, that looks like a karmic wrap up. Aries, 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 raw love. It definitely kind of looks like there was somebody in the background, okay? Um, my little Leos, I didn't really see anybody per se, but good possibility there's definitely somebody else there, okay? So, my Aries, my Aries. My little Ramskies, my little Ramskies. Ooh, nice and fluffy and airy. Look at that. Shocking, shocking. Okay, we got the King of Chalices with the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this right off the bat is telling me that this is the end of something, but you're also... This, you're dealing with someone arrogant, or you're arrogant. You're coming up as the king of chalices, you know, kind of arrogant. Like, like you're better than the other person, or or type thing. Um, I know it's the king of cups, guys, but not when it's next to the ten of swords. Like, or, you know, you got feelings for somebody, but 
you don't know how to process these feelings either. Okay. It's just, you either stab somebody in the back or vice versa. Like, but you're still thinking about this person. All right. You still touch yourself when you think about this person. There's still thoughts there. You're still reminiscing. But to me, I, I, I feel like you're too smug. All right. It, it, it's like this woman's on the floor, whether she wants to be ground, whether she wants to be there or not, but you're just kind of like, nah, that's straight up smug to me, okay? Sitting next to the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like, it, it's like you go after your own pleasure, whether somebody gets hurt or not, you know? Like you want to, it's like one of those things you want to please me, okay? But don't think I'm going to be there to please you every time you hit me up type thing. So here we go. I wanted that. Yeah, Five of Swords reversed. All right. This is, and I'm reading these ones up right, but I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you, you know, it, it's reversed. This is watch your back. All right. Watch your back, ladies, because it's the gentleman that looks sneaky right now. But if you're the same sex, you got to figure out if it's masculine or feminine energy that's sneaky. And right now, it looks to be the masculine energy, okay? So, you know, yeah, the, the Knight of uh, Chalice is going to come in and, and charm somebody. Again, charm the woman, okay? This person wants to charm you, but then you end up at the Eight of Pence. Will you work together? Will you not? Because it looks like you were intimate, and now you're like, shit, was that the right decision? Did I make the right decision or not here? Do I want to build this from the ground up or, or do I not want to do this, okay? Because you're, you're dealing with somebody who's very manipulative, okay? You're dealing with somebody who absolutely knows what they're doing. They absolutely know how to play the game and they want to come in and charm your ass. So, and, and to me, this is the gentleman that holds promises, okay? So this person, this gentleman, this king of cups is going to come in and make a promise to you, all right? And you're dealing with the knife of swords. This person's been watching you and this is another card about watching your damn back. Okay, because when you're that distracted with good sex, it's hard to watch your back. People get distracted. So you got two cards back to back saying, watch your back. Okay, watch your back because you're dealing with somebody arrogant. And to me, this is my Aries being arrogant for some. This is what that is. Or this is happening <clears throat> to my Aries. Okay, but we again, the Eight of Cups at the bottom of this deck, walking away. All right, the Ten of Wands holding too much weight, justice. I don't know if they're dealing with a Libra or if something needs to be justified, but I don't see anything being justified here. We got the Magician. Yeah, the two of you in two different directions right here, okay? Like, I don't know what this is all about, but <clears throat> this person's going to come in and try to charm your ass. All right, and I think they're going to be like, ooh, I love you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, look at my Queen Bee there. Make the right effing decision. Do you understand me? So, let's find out. I mean, this doesn't look good to me, guys. I, I'm not going to lie to you. If you're waiting on an Aries, I, you know, the moon, the seven of wands, like, this just doesn't look good to me. This person's definitely going to come in and charm you. I want to be like, somebody changed their ways when it came to something? Nah, somebody was ungrateful. See, you know, like... I was trying to justify something for a minute because I kind of maybe maybe felt it, but I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. It, that this no, you're not wrong as in somebody trying to justify something. Like no, I don't think this person changed the way. You got two cards telling you to watch your back for the female to watch your back. Someone's gonna come and charm and you, making promises, but you're dealing with somebody who's arrogant, somebody who likes to play. Tell me about the King of Chalices. All right, see the Five of Swords again. All right, and the Ten of Pence came out. So to me, they're not, and it's upright. So to me, it's like, I don't know if they're, they're going to come in and be like, you know, I'm going to give you stability. I'm going to give you X, Y, Z, because now they feel guilty for something. I don't know what that's all about, okay? See, this is why I'm saying, because, you know, it's weird. I felt that, like somebody's coming in, but I don't see it. I don't, I don't see this person switching, changing, you know, but right here it's telling me this person feels guilty and now wants to go towards stability. Tell me about the 10 of pence, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I would, if I were you, I don't know if you could trust this person as far as you can up and throw this person. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at, they're going to come in and apologize. They want stability now. The king of wands. See, this is, this is tough. I, I wish you guys the very best because you were definitely dealing with somebody who's arrogant. Can people change? Yeah. Okay, but I'd be real careful because you still have two cards saying to watch your back. 
this promises, you know. Tell me about um this five of swords. So now this person feels guilty. So this was probably what happened. Maybe what you're expecting, but you're gonna get this. I'm not sure. You know, this person, you know, got the Knight of Wands and it's reversed. So this is saying this person doesn't want to be in and out of your life anymore. Oh man, tell me about this page of swords. All right, the the hangman, this person with the four of swords reversed too. So either this person is coming out of like a meditation mode or just is not resting and they should be resting. Um, to me, this is saying that this person still being in hangman mode, they need to change their perspective when it comes to something. And to me, I don't know if it's their approach. Tell me about the knight of cups. There's, there's Fred, okay? But here we go with the death card reverse. I was waiting for the death card, but it's effing reverse. Like they're fighting it. All right. But this person's watching you. I have an Aries watching somebody. Okay. Coming in, wanting to make promises, but not accepting what's going on. See, this is bizarre. Eight of pence. You're going to have to use your best judgment on this one, ladies and gents. This is a lot, but you got the Emperor reversed, losing their patience. You have the Tower upright, okay? You have the Ten of Wands. And, and then, you know, because it's, it's a lot of weight, but at the end, we got Destiny and the Sun. Like, holy shit, we got the Sun, then we got the Sun. Like, whatever this is, it, again, is saying in the long run, can possibly work out. This is what this is saying. But let me clarify these. Tell me about the Sun. Make sure it's not talking about something else. Tell me about the Sun. The world, okay, the reverse, the, the something, you know, just was, the door was not shut, it, it's, you know, this can talk about time to wrap it up, all right, because now we got the, the Ace of Pence reversed, okay, but I, like I said in the beginning, I, I wasn't really reading this reverse, so this could be like, this is the end of bullshit, time to have, this is the end of the past, okay, time to wrap it up and have a new start, and this can be the outcome, tell me about the start. So you're looking at somebody who who definitely the four of cups see yeah no this person you might even be dealing with an aquarius so they or my aries have aquarius in their chart and i'm telling you this person is ungrateful for for whoever this other particular person was it's clear as day all right they don't want to be vulnerable they're still juggling juggling they don't know what to do i wish you the very best here because this person's definitely going to come back in especially if you're a cross watcher this person's going to try to come back in and, and charm charm your little panties off and I think they're going to get your panties off and then you're going to be like, damn. And I think you're going to be so distracted because the intimacy is good and you're going to get swept away. I'd be real careful. All right. Because I think this person's going to come in and talk all this shit. I want this. I want that. I want, I want X, Y, Z. And, and this time we can get it right and blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, there's still something sneaky there. All right. I don't know if that outcome necessarily with the sun, to me, it's, you know, will you get that clarity? Will you not get that clarity? I think you might get the clarity that this person really doesn't want to give you time. This person, you know, is coming in for a little pleasure. Do they have feelings? Yeah, not feelings like that, though. Okay, I'll tell you that. You're, you're dealing with somebody who, like I said, is arrogant or was. But to me, this is just their thoughts. How do I come in and, and, and do this? Because I don't want to lose this person. But you got two cards saying, you know, watch your back. Watch your back. This person's going to come in and charm you, make promises. But look how you don't look too comfortable when it's all said and done after this promise is made. So there's that. Let's get to my little saggies, my little hot tamales. My little hot tamales, my little, my little chili peppers, my little firecrackers. like my little pumpkin I just picked up. Isn't he cutie? Isn't he cutie? Saggies, saggies.
All right, what's going on with Sag? My Saggies. You got the chariot and the ace of cups. I mean, yeah, the ace of chalices. So this is not knowing what direction to go in either. You're someone's clinging on to the past right now. Someone's going down memory lane trying to figure out, you know, like all the good memories too though, okay? Not bad memories, but somebody is for sure in nostalgia mode, reminiscing. Um I I'm not gonna lie to you, this was definitely true love and something happened, okay? You guys went your separate ways. This is the past. Um you guys definitely went your separate ways, and this person is weighing very heavily on your mind right now. Very heavily on your mind. Saggies, saggies. I think somebody has something to, like a sock fetish. Not in a bad way, just somebody likes socks. Somebody likes old scrolls, somebody likes jewelry, you know, somebody loves nature, loves the outdoors, okay, likes birds, likes to nurture things, we have the wheel, it, whatever happened, whether it was a third party or not in this scenario with your past, it was meant to go down that way, okay, was it meant for you guys to be not together for this long, I don't think so, I'm telling you, this is a special bond, this isn't the average, and, and, I'm just, this is the way I feel right now. I feel very, um, what's the word? Like nostalgic. I feel like this is like a long lost love. Like it's just bizarre how I feel. All right. This is the nine of one. Somebody coming in and, and, you know, taking action and, and getting back what it is that they missed. I, I feel like you guys were teenagers or young twenties when you met. This is one of those scenarios guys. And if it's not, it's just, you know, you reminisce in the past, something went down, probably a third party, but now somebody's coming in and taking action. You know, it, it was reverse. So to me, this was, at the time, somebody wasn't taking action because I, I feel total nostalgia with this read right here. This is somebody like, damn, this is like ex-husband. This is like blast from the past. This is college. This is boyfriend. This is high school. This is something like that, okay? I don't know if you held on to a picture, you held on to a mirror, you, you held on to a sock. I'm telling you, like you or, you or this person gave you jewelry, a, a love letter. You held on to something, like a memento. You held on to something, okay? Um, which is, it's, it's beautiful. And we got the seven of chalices, you know, and with the king of swords but with this with this came heartache and deception and deceit and confusion and you cut that shit out and you didn't look back okay um but this is what's literally on your mind i'm gonna try to get another read because this is for somebody who's literally reminiscing about 20 years ago 30 years ago this is one of these scenarios, okay? But you go from happy to, to angry, okay? And, you know, see, look what I just said. You go from happy to angry to sorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the thing is, it's it, regardless, it's still on your mind. Tell me about this, um, the wheel. I don't know if this means it's coming. I don't see anything coming back around. But if it's weighing heavily on your mind, it's pretty important to you. All right, this king of pence. Yeah, see, this is somebody with a magician. So... I don't, tell me about the magician. This person actually wants to come out of conflict with you. So it's somebody you know. What if it's like your kid's father or, I, I mean, this is somebody you know. They don't want conflict with you anymore, but you're still kind of like, you know, it's weird. I don't even use the word, but like a tough broad. You know, you're like, you're tough. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. So I don't know if this person's going to try to hit you up. I, I feel like you've known this person throughout the years, okay? You're pretty confident right now. You're not worried about being lonely. You, like, you, you're not really thinking about that. You're just kind of like, you're confident. You're doing your thing. And whatever it is you're doing, it's like you don't need this person. But you're like, oh, the memories are there. It's something like that. It looks like. You've been in contact with them off and on your whole life, but 
you guys never got back together. I don't know if they were in a different marriage. I kind of feel like this person was in a different marriage or they took off or it was something. Tell me about this King of Pence again. Um, whether it was somebody from the past or not. Yeah, see, now this person, the Six of Cups reverse, now this person's coming back. This gentleman's coming back for one of my saggies or vice versa. Okay, now I'm going to pull another one real quick. This is what this is. This has been a long time coming. I don't even know if you want it back, but you're thinking about this person big time. The, the two of you right now are thinking about each other, okay? What you guys had was pretty effing special, I'll tell you that. So, if you want to hash some shit out, hash it out. Say what needs to be said. Whether you guys get together or not, be honest. It's been a long time. Looks like this person wants to come in, help, take care of you, nurture you, provide for, for you. You know, it's, it's, it's something like that. Somebody who's just kind of like got your back scenario. Um, so I wish you best of luck there. Let me see if I can get another quick spread because that was literally for only a few people. I guarantee it. Saggies, my saggies, my saggies. Got the magician. Five of chalices. All right. So we're sitting here, sad, sorrow. Okay. We got the tower. Um, and then we got the queen of chalices. Holy shit. And the all these. It's definitely going to tell a story the way they flung out. Um, I definitely feel like there's a third party somewhere, although was somebody's not living in the moment. This person who's reminiscing, this person that's full of sorrow right now is reminiscing about their past, but they're not living in the moment. Okay, they're thinking about all the happy times, but at the same time, they're thinking about deception. All right, somebody's fearing this even coming back around, because at one point, you had a lot of feelings, but there was also a third party, okay? The person you're dealing with is very jealous, or you're very jealous, okay? Um... I don't know if this is a domestic violence because this card talks about fear and this is straight up jealousy and this is my domestic violence card, okay? Um, and, and there's definitely, there was definitely, to me, there was some tricky shit, all right? And, and you're sad as shit. You're not living in the moment. You're thinking about all the happy things, okay? But what about all the effing bad things that I see on the board right here? Because I see some effing bad shit. This isn't the average tower, okay? Not sitting next to fear, all right? And you had feelings for this person or vice versa, but with the lovers here, they obviously had feelings for somebody else. At the same time, they had feelings for you. Or vice versa. This is definitely a third-party scenario for some of my saggies. No questions, hands down. And I'd be real careful about how this is being approached because with the magician, he looks, he looks pissed off. And he looks like a big boy, okay? And you got somebody here that's like, I don't effing think so, okay? So, and they're thinking about the past, or, or you are, okay? Something did not go down, right? You know, that. yeah, see the universe, wrap this shit up. Like, get out of this scenario, move forward. There's no question here. They're saying, don't work through this one, okay? Don't work through this one. This is a nah. This is a nah. I almost, I don't know if you guys have sheep. Somebody has a sheep, or well, it has something to do with sheep, sheep skins, sheep fur, because I was like, I almost wanted to do like, ah, but I was like, nah, all right, this is a nah, all right, maybe go seek seclusion at a farm, I don't know, this is, this is a no, 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 tell me about the magician, that's the money, magician, magician, magician. Because there's, there's no way this is like, okay, the tower is going to come in and knock the fear out. Now we got multiple people. Like, this this is no. Tell me about the magician. This is, you know, we got the moon. There we go. Unknown secrets. Okay, there's still stuff that's going on. Five of chalices. Yeah, to me, you're aware of it, you know. You got the knight of pence. I mean, the, the knight of wands with the ten of wands. This is somebody carrying a lot, a lot of weight. All right. It's almost like... They didn't, they don't want to be this person anymore, but we're still in that scenario, okay? I'm not justifying nobody. Tell me about this tower. This is not a good scenario. 
I don't know if they're going to come back at you. See, the door wasn't shut. This person's coming back at you. Yeah, King of Cups. Look at what you're dealing with. F that on top of the tower. King of Cups reverse. An arrogant prick. Okay? Look at that. You know, some type of, could even be an authority figure. Just somebody who thinks they're better than you. Okay? Somebody who's very jealous. Somebody who doesn't like to talk about their emotions. But the door wasn't shut to them. Maybe to you, but not to them. Or this is vice versa. Okay? So this is not a good scenario. Tell me about the lovers. This is not a good scenario at all. You're dealing with somebody who's very, um, very dominating, very bossy, very arrogant. Okay? Like I said it, you're dealing with a straight up prick. Okay? Tell me about lovers. I don't see danger, but I'm telling you, yeah, see, they don't want this new style. It's reversed. And there's an Eight of Cups. Do I walk away? Do I not walk away? Do I do a second chance? Do I not? You're not living in the moment. Tell me about the Six of Pence. All right. Seven of Swords. This person's going to come right back at you, and I'm sorry. And look, look at that. Ungrateful. Ungrateful. All right. Are they going to come in and tell you the truth? I don't know. It, this person's definitely coming back around to tell you about all this deception. I don't see domestic violence here, but you're dealing with a straight-up arrogant prick. And I don't know how many more times i got to say that to you. All right? So, I don't see this person changing. You know, they, they don't want to leave somebody. They don't want to own up to the apology. Um, and I'm sorry for using that word. I don't normally use that word. Okay? But this is what this is. Um, what is this? Nine of chalices. All right? But that's reminiscing okay yeah see this person doesn't want to work together with you doesn't want to build from the ground up doesn't want to move forward okay thinking about themselves um yeah see the devil <sighs> but this person's gonna come back at you you got the devil the tower sitting with this arrogant son of a bitch Okay, this is what we're dealing with. Can I just remind you real quick before I wrap this up? Okay, not putting effort in either. This is the gentleman you're dealing with. Let's not forget. Ungrateful. Sneaky son of a bitch that wants to come back at you too. But for what? We're not putting the effort into it. You have fear, okay? So get yourself get yourself out of the fear. All right, this is not this is a no good scenario. I'm sorry. I wish you guys the best. I want all of you to have a fantastic week, okay? I love you guys. I am so sorry for those who are in that shit show. Please take care of yourself. Wrap it up and look forward to the new, okay? So cheers to new beginnings for those who are about to have one. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful new beginnings for you guys. All right. Walk away from it. All right. You're going to get what you deserve. I promise you. And now I was going to say it can go down either way. And I, I don't say that shit. So some of you are going to put yourself in that scenario. Whether it's mental manipulation, I don't know. All right. But I, I'm, my advice would be to completely get yourself out of that comic shit show and, and go after what it is you deserve, your own love, self-love, okay, renewed, fresh energy coming at you, all right, it's on you, I love you guys, bye.